Dude, the internet's so fucking stupid. <laughs> but this shit was just so dumb. It's fucking hilarious. This bitch. She's so dumb. Astronomically dumb. Who are all this guy? His, His name, name is Glenn, Glenn Harris, Harris. <laughs> and, and they, they all say he's ripped, ripped them off in shoddy home improvement jobs. jobs. He looks I like yeah. He targets the elderly or anyone who he thinks is vulnerable. His, His main clients, vulnerable. senior vulnerable. citizens like these. He's despicable. He is despicable. But when he got to work, Sutton says Harris conned his mom out of thousands of dollars for home repair jobs he says she didn't even need. My mom took out a $50,000 home equity loan because he wanted cash on everything. Oh my goodness. Now listen to how much money these folks say they were ripped off. $11,000. Four thousand five hundred. Fifty-seven thousand dollars. Eight thousand five. Twelve thousand five hundred. To see firsthand. <laughs> You're like, oh, twelve thousand five hundred dollars. That's too much money to get conned out of, you know, for anything. And then this guy's like, I got conned out of way more. All of them combined. He's <laughs> like. $5,000, $12,000, $11,500. He molested me and took $112,000 over the course of seven years. I thought he was my best friend, and then he stole seventy grand at the end. What? <laughs> I had sex with him, and then he molested me and took $75,000. $57,000. She's like, are you fucking serious? That's so much. That doesn't even count. You did this to yourself. Get out of here, Greg. You're a loser. Fifty-seven thousand fucking dollars. <laughs> That's pretty much what she said. She's like, you piece of shit. Fifty thousand. You idiot, bitch ass dollars. <laughs> like, Fifty-seven. You're a complete fucking thousand dumbass dollars. <laughs> fucking so. Eight thousand five hundred. Oh, that's nothing, Becky. This guy lost 60 grand. You shut up. This is about him now. Customers, I am ready to help of Emmy winning Hollywood makeup artist Ben Adams. You failed conclusively. This is such bullshit. This is literally the worst. It's not safe. It's not safe the art. It's literally terrible. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's literally it literally sucks ass. It sucks so much ass. It sucks so much ass. It's so not good. Uh, but it's funny. They say it's state of the art, but then I looked at this video and it's 2016. And I'm like, oh, holy shit. We really are living in the future. Because our masks look way better than that. And it's only 2022. But it's funny. Yeah, this mask looks like dog fucking shit, dude. Like this, like Mrs. Doubtfire was way better than this. Like her face looks plastic. It looks like shit. Like, it's so bad. And she doesn't move like an old lady. Her acting is trash. It's just a fucking symphony of destruction. She's so ugly. It's so... It so doesn't work. You look so plastic and stupid. So dumb looking. She's not, though. The worst disguise, literally, that I have ever seen in my life. Like, I can't... I can't tell if it's a joke or not. She looks like, oh my god, just so many bad things. She looks like a turtle. She looks, oh my, it's just so bad. I hope she looks back at this nowadays and is like, oh, I, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I, I was, I was smoking dope. <laughs> I was smoking. I was, I was just, I was too full of myself. I was just bullied. I was, you know, I was doing too much. I, uh, cause there's no fucking reason for this at all. <laughs> like I straight up and convinced that she just wanted to play dress up. Because she looks like a turtle and a goblin more than an old lady. For sure. She looks so ruined. She looks like somebody tried to just sew leather to her face in an attempt to make her look old. It looks like they didn't know what they were doing at all. Like, if this is a professional makeup artist, he should just fucking go back to school and just try something else. Like, this is so bad looking. Like, if this is a prof like th This is so dumb. Because she looks fucking awful. Like, literally... <laughs> Is this supposed to be believable? 
Is she really trying to go undercover? Because literally good luck. No, no, dude. Are you really trying to pull this off? Because she literally just should have done makeup. Or just gotten another person. Just hire her mom or something. Or somebody that's actually old. You don't have to actually dress up like an old person to con this guy. Just get another old person. You don't have to dress up and fail miserably at dressing You're like, oh, I'm going to try to get this state-of-the-art fucking million-dollar old person suit and fucking stitch it to my skin, and I'm going to look like a fucking dead horse that's glued to a leather chair, and I'm going to just, like, just, in, just insult everyone's intelligence and just fucking embarrass myself with the, my looks and the audacity that it takes to just think that this would... Like, just... It's such bullshit. It's like... Why don't you just do like something that, that would work, like get another, like just make or just yeah, just, you know what I mean. Just get somebody else or or do makeup or even just a few prosthetics here and there. Don't just glue an entire thing to your face and hope that it works when it's obviously looks like shit. I'm so mad. I'm so disappointed in, in society. <laughs> Then we deliberately made a leak in the water heater. I called Glenn Harris to make an appointment, and he told me he'd be there at 9 a.m. the next morning. What he didn't know? We had gathered many of his angry customers in a van parked just down the block. They all waited inside for the, the old granny van. We were about I know it well. <laughs> the only problem? Harris didn't come. He's late. So we waited? Oh, you're such a believable old lady. Love and it. waited. What's it like being in that mask for so long? I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. Waiting for Glenn Harris to show up is something... Yeah, because that's so believable. These folks are all too familiar with. He's a pathological liar. This is uh, par for the course for this slime ball. So after four hours of waiting, even these folks looking for justice had had enough. I'd like to use my cane. <laughs> Eventually, we reached Harris, and he told me he'd gotten tied up, but promised to be there the next morning. Alas, when morning came, he blew us off again. That's unbelievable. Three days in a row, he stood us up. We've been waiting three days to find this guy, and he hasn't showed up. So now we're going to find him. Since he wouldn't come to our house, Such shit. we went to his. That's where he looked. Do I even have to continue to point out what shit this looks like? Do I even have to? They couldn't even have, like, edited it a certain way to look better on camera. And you know how things look better on camera? Like, it probably looks more like shit in person is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and it looks so bad here, though. Jesus fucking Christ. Do I really have to continue to point out, like, just how terrible this looks? Or do you guys get it? Please tell me you get it. Look at this. I want to just grab her. She, just zing, just stretch her face out and slap her with her own mask. What are we filming? You're are you fucking. Glenn? Yes, I am. Come on over, Glenn. Come on over, Glenn. I hate this whole thing. Her acting trash. Look at her try to walk like an old lady. Glenn. This guy's so confused. He's like, what is this thing in front of me? Uh -huh. for you for three days. You were supposed to come over and do some plumbing for me. Who, uh, who are you? He's like, I, I'm just smoking my menthols and I have no idea what you are. He's like, I, you, what is wrong with your face? Who are you? <laughs> what the fuck, like, is wrong with who, who you are? Who are you? <laughs> I don't know who you are. I'll tell you who I am. Well, I'll tell you who I am. Give us the fucking Scooby-Doo reveal. I'm actually not a little old lady. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, such shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, I'm dead. <laughs> she literally... She literally... She acts like she's been Mr... <laughs> She acts like she's been Mrs. Doubtfiring him this whole time. Like, doing this whole fucking man. This whole thing that's building up to this giant reveal at the end. And she pulls back her fucking Scooby-Doo villain mask. And, and she's just like, it's me. And, and he's like, I don't 
know who you are or who you're revealing yourself to be or who you were supposed to even be or who you are now. Like, who, who the fuck are you trying? Like, what? What? You failed so bad at what this even was. Like, who? <laughs> She's like, I got you. It's me, Glenn. And he's just... What do, you, what do you mean by that? Like, you, <laughs> you're supposed to do this whole fucking beginning part <laughs> that you failed at. <laughs> you can't just continue to go through with it and pull it around. Like, did she really just want to do that? She's like, you know, I've always just wanted to be a superhero or a supervillain where, where at the end of the day this whole thing happens and you just pull off the mask. Like, that she did it. She did it so dramatically. Like, she thought it was... And nobody gave a fuck. That, that's what I love. Is nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> nobody gives a shit. <laughs> because, yeah... She, it's me. I'm with, I'm with Inside Edition. Like, the, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, of course, probably knows what Inside Edition is. But I would just say that to her just to make her feel even worse about herself. Just be like, nobody knows what that is. Like, oh, <laughs> just get out of here. Like, she'd be like, it's a whole big thing. Like, sure it is. Cool. Yeah, and you're a whole known person. Yeah, get. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah. <laughs> just. You know, he's like, it's me. I'm not an old lady. <laughs> she like does like it's this giant like reveal like oh it's actually me I'm I'm this young attractive girl oh I'm not an old lady and he's just like yeah I could tell that the second you walked up I was like who the fuck is this person with this dumb mask on like instantly and I was like I don't know who you are or who you're trying to be and he pulled your mask off like I'm supposed to know you but I nobody knows who you are okay. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I've been on TV. Well, you're so not memorable then. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This bitch just sucks so much ass at this. <laughs> she was supposed to... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd like to know if you're bilking elderly people in the Bilking? What does that even mean? Man, I'm not. Sir, I've talked to numerous people who claim that you have been ripping them off. I haven't been. No, I oh, that settles it. Settles it. What's the end? Do you have anything at all to say to the victims that feel that you owe them a lot of money? I don't have, that, 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 that I owe I don't have victims, okay? telling that to these folks. Stop what you're doing. Stop it. Now. Stop. Just stop what you're doing. That's my message to all criminals. Hey. Everybody? Stop what you're doing. That did it. Everyone, everyone's fixed now. God, I'm glad I got that out there. Yeah, everybody stop. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm glad everybody listens to me and that everybody stopped. So that settles it. Everything's fixed now. Cool. Great. I'm glad. We did it, guys. I'm glad you stopped. Hey. Stop it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, good thing. Good, ah, fucking... Becky got her fucking piece in, you know. She, good thing she got her words in, you know. Good thing she said that, all that.